Okay, so here I'm working on my Malibu 3.1 liter engine with the common intake manifold gasket leak. Here I've removed the plenum. I've left it, I removed the uh, the air cleaner, but I've left this attached down there. It was easier to not totally remove it. I just disconnected the uh, hose clamp and slid it off later when I put it back in and put a nut and bolt on it. And now we can see the intake manifold with the uh, things the rats have brought in over the years. And there's the fuel rails. I just bent them out of the way. I'm trying to do this with removing as little as possible. There's the fuel rails. Uh, they just a couple bolts hold them down and you have to pry them up. I use this uh, long screwdriver to to uh, get under and pry them up. See, I, I use these things and kind of pry them up. Also, in the intake manifold, there's the, the power steering thing here. The reservoir's got to come off because there's one last bolt right under there. You can see with poking around. Uh, on this intake manifold that you can't get to unless unless you take that stupid thing off. Also, when I took this uh, this water pipe off, you can see it right here. Here, the uh, bolt broke. You can see it right there. So I'm going to have to drill it out later when I put it back in and put a nut and bolt on it. Okay, I was about ready to um, pull this manifold off, but I was amazed these intake manifold bolts, you can see here, how loose they were. I bet there wasn't um, five pounds of torque on them, and if nothing else, it seemed to me that would cause an internal leak. So what I thought I'd take a gamble here, I'm just going to put these uh, bolts back in and tighten them really really tight not the way they were and put the engine back together and see what that does so this might be a tip for you to check these bolts to see how loose they are they should be fairly tight uh, to stop the uh, coolant from leaking inside the engine so I'm going to um, I'm going to do that and we'll see where that takes us. Okay, here we are again. And what I did, <clears throat> I tightened these these uh, four bolts with a 10 millimeter socket using a ratchet about that length, just a normal ratchet. And I just pulled it till it felt tight. Uh, I'd be careful unless you go too tight. You've got a steel bolt into an aluminum uh, aluminum block in your head and you're likely to strip it but I I pulled it pretty tight though and uh, and then there's one other bolt you hear people talking about under the power steering pump right here you gotta take the power steering pump off but I found I had uh, a couple wrenches Let's see, I put them here, 10 millimeter again, and there, there's the two wrenches I used, and one, one of them is even a, a flare wrench, this one here, but I found that I could get it in, get it in there under the power steering pump without taking it off and turn it just enough to where I could get the other wrench on it and turn it or, or turn them over, anyway it would be a combination of turning the wrenches over and using two wrenches I was able to get that bolt under the uh, power steering reservoir tight and I could fill it tight so that might say that might be a tip save you uh, uh, taking this thing off here's another tip if you want to turn the engine if you do have to take your intake manifold off I found a uh, I've got an old klutzy uh, 15 16 wrench you put that on the alternator bolt 
and you can turn the whole engine with it so you can see the belts and everything moving so just 15 uh, sixteenths now I'm sure there's a metric equivalent but this old wrench I had lying around for years it's a good way to turn the engine if you have to um, go further now what I'm what I'm doing here actually I'm tightening these bolts up and uh, I don't have any delusions about it sealing the leak perfectly I'm hoping it seals it enough to where uh, stop leak will will stop the rest of the leakage uh, the first couple of years I had it you did leak but stop leak worked on it and then it got to the point where uh, even stop leak wouldn't work but but this uh, this bolt under the power steering reservoir it was just ridiculously loose almost you could turn it with your fingers now this engine's never been worked on and it's no wonder these intake manifolds leak uh, how loose these bolts are another thing I noticed you've only got four bolts here on top it doesn't seem to me like there's enough bolts it seems like there should be more there's nothing here at the end there's no, really nothing here at, at, at this end either uh, this end that doesn't seem like to me to there's enough bolts and not enough bolts over here so I'm wondering if this plastic uh, intake manifold gasket business part of the problem is just poor design by uh, GM and not putting enough bolts in their intake manifold to uh, to hold the gasket down so I'm going to cut away now and what I'm going to do is what I did I cleaned the uh, fuel injection ports and you got to be careful too you get dust dirt in here I used a, a shop vac to suck out all the dirt around here you don't want dirt falling into these uh, intake ports so get, get your vacuum and uh, keep it really really clean and polish these up too prior to reinserting the uh, reinserting the fuel injector rail okay here we are again now what <clears throat> I'm getting ready to put the fuel rails back in now they're supposed to probably I do have a gasket kit but you've got oil uh, oil rings there you're probably supposed to replace them because I'm experimenting and uh, want to see if I can stop the leak I'm going to reuse the old uh, the old uh, o-rings and uh, if my uh, engine still leaks then I'll uh, pull it apart and put when I re, uh, put it back together I'll put new o-rings in but what I did to make them tacky I used some of this uh, oh something like Mac MEK or just from Walmart and I just dribbled some on these on the um, where are we on, on these on the uh, fuel injectors the, the rubber things to get them tacky again so hopefully that will uh, uh, mm. take the place of a new part okay here we are again I've got the fuel rails uh, almost installed it's just um, two bolts that hold it down now you've got to get the uh, injectors in the port which takes a little finagling. I may be wrong, but seem again it seems under engineered to me because uh, they just kind of sit there in those uh, ports in the intake manifold and not too much pressure on them. Hopefully it won't leak. I also notice those four bolts, intake manifold bolts. You don't need to take the fuel rail off. If you want to try just to see if your bolts are loose, you do need to take the plenum off but I can I could get a, a socket down on these four and like I said we got the uh, the wrench underneath the uh, the other bowl under the the uh, power steering reservoir so uh, you could just uh, take off your plenum and try and tighten those four bolts and then that one under the pump power steering reservoir and you don't need to take the um, the fuel rail off and risk uh, you know having it leak when you put it back on they're going to cut away okay, now here's a quality gasket set now if you want to put a replacement in this one's metal instead of plastic this is the part that normally leaks and we're hoping here we can just retighten those bolts and stop the leakage but I am going to put between the plenum and the intake manifold I'm going to put uh, renew these now, if you're trying to save money, you might be able to get by with using, reusing the old gasket and putting gasket paste on it. I don't know. And you get um, valve cover gaskets, too. So this is what a quality uh, replacement gasket set looks like. And I wouldn't go with stock 
plastic gasket here on the lower intake manifold. I would use uh, the metal. But I'm going to put this in the um, okay. Okay, the, the car is back together, the engine's back together, and it's running right now. As you can hear and see, um, it's been about a week and a half since I put it back together and been driving it. And uh, it's been, there's been a noticeable improvement. It used to suck gallons of water just going into town several miles away. Uh, I won't say it still doesn't use water, but it's a little bit. It's like one cup uh, of water uh, into town and a cup back. But uh, I put some of this um, black pepper mixed good stock leak. And I'm hoping uh, the remaining uh, the remaining leakage or seepage into the engine will, will stop. And it also might be because we're here in Oklahoma, we're over 100 degrees right now. And uh, I didn't put any antifreeze in the water because I've, I used to suck so much antifreeze it was expensive. So I suspect that's uh, uh, part of the reason, maybe all the reason why um, the water goes down a little bit going into town and back. But it's a huge, huge, huge improvement, and uh, I'm hoping for a 100% improvement, but uh, um, there you have it. Maybe it'll work in your case, and you can save save some money. I should mention, uh, the, when you're putting the fuel rail back in, the fuel supply, uh, get, you might want to, uh, you know, the pipe was a little bit hard to get the threads to, to screw into the fuel rail. So I, I solved that by um, raising the fuel rail up, uh, angling it to connect to the pipe, and then and then I bolted it down. So other than that, uh, there wasn't really any problems putting it uh, back together again. Okay, thank you.